also who were criminals were led away to be put to death with him. When they came to the place that is called the Skull, they crucified Jesus there with the criminals, one on his right and the other on his left. Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. And they cast lots to divide his clothing. And the people stood by watching, but the leaders scoffed at him, saying, He saved others, let him save himself, if he is the Messiah of God, his chosen one. The soldiers also mocked him, coming up and offering him sour wine, and saying, If you are the king of the Jews, save yourself. There was also an inscription over him. This is the king of the Jews. One of the criminals who was hung there kept deriding him and saying, are you not the Messiah? Save yourself and us. But the other rebuked him saying, do you not fear God since you are under the same sentence of condemnation? And we indeed have been condemned justly, for we are getting what we deserve for our deeds. But this man has done nothing wrong. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. He replied, truly I tell you, today you will be with me in paradise. Thanks be to God. Okay. 
this time as we remember that our God comes to meet us exactly there. And that's where we see miracles of grace. So we don't need to go far, do we, to see Calvaries. There are Calvaries plenty. But maybe we do need to have the eyes to see that those Calvaries aren't the final word. The final word is with the God whose love is stronger than anything we can imagine. the suffering families, the God who comes alongside to show us that it is love that has the final word. And that's what we believe, and that's what the cross proclaims, and never doubt it, whoever and whatever may seem to be in your life and in the lives around. Goodness is stronger than evil. Love is stronger than death. Light is stronger than darkness. many years ago, the belief that God's final word, whatever, all the Calvary, is not nailed to a cross on the Christ, but rises from the dead on Easter Day. If you know this, sing along with me and we will gradually sing it two or three times so we all know it.
of your day, twisting events to suit their needs. So write your gospel on our hearts, that we yearn for justice by your Lord. And when we betray you to suit our needs, may we hear the cock crowing. Turn us towards your love, that we may try again to live your gospel every day. to your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Shall we gather all our prayers into the prayer that our Saviour taught us? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done.
blessing and pray that from this blessing we may bless those whom we meet. Christ crucified to draw you to himself, to find in him a sure ground for faith, a firm support for hope, and the assurance of sins forgiven, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and